Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. Here's the seafood news for Monday, January 13th, 2014. <clears throat> this week we'll take a look at a few supply and market changes for black cod, sockeye salmon and Pacific halibut. Firstly, black cod supply is down considerably compared to the same time last year. 2012 processed black cod inventories were being sold as late as June 2013. Current inventories are expected to be depleted as early as February, creating extreme product shortages for March and part of April. Approximately 75% of the black cod supply comes from Alaska with fishing from March through to November, concurrent with the halibut fishery. 15% is from the wet Washington coast fishery, which is April 1st to October 31st, and 10% from the year-round west coast trawl fishery operating on a quota system. A note to make on the trawl fishery is that a larger percentage of the harvest from this fishery is longline and pot caught product. Harvesters are allowed to fish fixed gear for this trawl fishery. Japanese demand has played a considerable role as their con consumption has spiked recently. The Jap Japan market is for 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 pound fish, with Japanese importers rarely taking larger fish. In response to recent shortages of these sizes, Japanese importers are now taking five to seven pound fish. There, there is essentially no minus seven pound product available, but there are small amounts of seven pound plus fish available. Current pricing is, below, is just below $8 US and stable with a slight upward pressure. The Pacific halibut situation is similar to Black Hot. 2012 inventory was still in stock well into the, into the 2013 season, putting downward pressure on 2013 product. Once the 2012 inventories were depleted, prices rose sharply from the high $4 range to the mid $6 range for 10 to 20 pound fish. Over the past two weeks, supply of halibut has tightened considerably on all sizes of halibut, most notably on 10, 20s and 20, 40, and 20 to 40 pound product. Consequently, prices for 10 to 20 pound fish, if you can find them, have gone up to the mid $7 range. 40 pound fish prices have gone from the high $6 range the, to the $8 range, depending on specific sizes. There are four size grades over 40 pounds, 40 to 60, 60 to 80, 80, 100, and 100 up. Market activity has increased as supply news and price increases are realized by distributors. With the new season more than two months away, it is best not to wait to secure product to carry you through to the end of April, when new frozen products should become available. The annual International Pacific Halibut Commission meeting will be held in Seattle from January 13th to the 17th, where the 2014 quota will be announced. And we will give you a summary of that meeting in a future episode. Prices are expected to be strong early in the 2014 season as supply of 2013 processed halibut is very limited. And finally, a quick note on sockeye. Domestic demand for fillets has been steadily increasing in the past eight weeks, which has helped move large quantities of H&G product for twice frozen and refreshing fillets. Concurrently, European demand has been rising and prices going up are going up accordingly. Product that was in the mid $4 range eight weeks ago is now close to $5 and limited in supply. Six to nine fish are very short in the market and buyers should expect that anywhere from the 550 to 575 range FOB Seattle. Four to six pound fish are more available but still not in large volume and prices range between $460 and $5 depending on catch area and purchase quantity. There are inventories of number two or A grade sockeye at considerably lower prices than the premium refresh and smoking quality fish. Sales of number two six nine pound have been recently reported at 450 Europe, which is roughly 430 a pound Seattle. As prices for premium quality fish climb and supplies dwindle, it is just a matter of time before the second grade product is put to the knife. Pre-season estimates for sockeye in Alaska are for 4.3 million fish, up from 3.5 million fish harvested in 2013. Now, although this looks like more fish for 2014, it may actually result in a lower harvest versus last year. And here's how I'm going to explain that. The 2013 preseason forecast was 4.9 million fish, but actual harvest was 3.5 million fish. 
the 2014 preseason forecast is actually 4.3 million fish, which is 600,000 pound fish lower than the 2013 preseason forecast. This means we should actually expect fewer fish in the 2014 than 2013, comparing preseason forecasts. Either way, the data implies a consecutive harvest, a conservative harvest of sockeye. Thank you for joining me for, for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. It's Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.